okay so this is a uh, this is a very uh, dr kiran has raised her hand uh, dr kiran uh, if it's important please uh, write in the chat box or we can move forward dr kiran has raised her hand okay okay so now we are going to talk about preparing the manuscript for final submission and let me tell you it is one of the most important things that gets neglected while we are preparing our manuscript or while we are training for how to write a manuscript so now you must have realized that there is a value for pre planning before you start writing there is a value in learning the art how to write keeping in view the tapes and the different emirate format and there is a lot of value in pausing for a moment and preparing your manuscript for the final submission please remember this is how it works in the real world as well nobody cares that you have spent a lot of time in doing a great work people are concerned about the main presentation on the final day it's just like your examinations who cares that you have studied it for the last 3 months 6 months 1 year or 10 years people say that you have to perform well in those 2 or 3 hours and that's going to decide whether you pass or fail and same goes for your manuscripts millions of manuscripts are being published every year which means billion of healthcare professionals researchers and people who are interested in writing scientific articles are doing a lot of hard work so honestly speaking in the real world nobody cares that you have spent a lot of time people care how do you present that and this is a very important segment that i'm going to discuss and hopefully you are going to become clear at the end of the session that how to prepare your manuscript for the final submission so just imagine that you have uh, done your research work you and you have written your article you have decided the your target journal and you are about to submit so let's again start with the story dr sadia has finished her manuscript she has already registered on the online manuscript submission system and now she plans to submit the article tonight do you have any advice for her i mean she did the research she wrote an article she thought it was a good article she has shown it to her colleague senior everything seems fine and she plans to submit it to the international journal tonight using the online uh, system should you simply go forward or you should uh, give her some advice dr sajad excellent uh, dr adnan excellent read aloud fantastic dr sajad read again and follow the instruction dr yusuf check whether according to instruction to author dr roma excellent peer review external peer review dr hafsa revise the manuscript and most of you thank you very much most of you are now clear how it works yes so before submission please take a pause and you know like uh, stop there read the instruction to the authors again and place yourself in the editor shoes why you are someone who has worked hard to uh, prepare this manuscript but please remember the person sitting on the other end of the table the editor he or she receives uh, uh, dozens if not hundreds of similar manuscripts every month so why should he or she be concerned about your manuscript if you have done a lot of good work so please place yourself in the editor shoes it's a competition that you are going in and the editor has to choose the best article for their journal so just because you have worked hard does not mean your article is going to be published please pause for a moment and revise revise and revise again and as dr adnan has mentioned an excellent thing that it's a good idea to read your manuscript aloud so that you can identify the mistakes dr roma rauf has actually uh, uh, mentioned this that you give it for external peer review so you ask your colleagues uh, i mean obviously reputable and uh, trustworthy colleagues who are not going to uh, get away with your manuscript that please can you uh, uh, revise or can you simply read my manuscript once and tell me if it is okay for submission or not let me tell you sometimes seeing the same manuscript with a different set of lens from somebody else's perspective can improve the quality of your manuscript then read the instruction to authors again and you might find couple of things that you have missed in the first go formatting of the manuscript is absolutely important and i'm going to discuss that in detail little later on and timely submission many people are concerned that you know it takes a lot of time for the peer review so i mean it all depends on you why you have not uh, prepared well in advance if you are working in a four year training program and uh, it's a mandatory requirement that you should have two articles at the end of four year so probably it's a good idea that you submit your article by the end of third year if you submit it at the end of fourth year please don't blame anyone but your own self because hundreds and thousands of articles are being uh, reviewed every day and the peer review process is done by your colleagues people like you and me 
and we don't have time for our own self and our personal and uh, this professional life. So this means that nobody is going to peer review your article within days to hours. It will take time. In case of Pakistani journals, it might take actually up to six to 12 months before your article is peer reviewed for the first time. Then you have to revise it, resend, and the, the submission and publication process can actually take up to 12 to 18 months for Pakistani biomedical journals. It's a little bit quick for international biomedical journals, but in some cases it can get delayed. So timely submission is important. What do I mean by formatting? And please remember formatting is a, such an important thing that people tend to forget. So first of all, please read the instruction to author. And again, as I've been saying again and again, simple things matter most. Most of the journal, they ask you to submit your manuscript in A4 size. What is the default paper size of Microsoft Office? What is the default paper size of Microsoft Office? Thank you, Dr. Sajjad, uh, Dr. Yusuf, and Dr. Fawad. The default size is letter. It's not A4. You have to change it to A4, number one. Line spacing. Almost every uh, journal would mention this, and people tend to forget this. I'm not sure for what reason. That line spacing should be double line space because it makes easier for the peer reviewer to read through the article. Font should be 12, Arial or Times New Roman. Almost every journal in the world, English Biomedical Journal, they ask you to write either in the Arial font or the Time New Roman, Times New Roman font. You might say, what's the big deal? It's not about the big deal. It's about honoring the format of submission of the journal. If you don't honor the format of the submission uh, or format of the journal, they are not going to honor your submission. Citation, again, uh, look at the style of citation that the journal is demanding. They are asking for uh, uh, superscript, do that. If they are asking for round brackets, do that. Uh, square, please follow the instruction to author. Placement of referencing. Again, some journals would demand you that you should place the references in the alphabetical order. If, if that's the case, you do that. If they ask to uh, use the numerals uh, like Roman numbers, you follow the instruction. But the important thing is that you follow the instruction to author in the true spirit. And each section of the article should start from a new page. So introduction, new page. Material method, a new page. Results, a new page. Discussion, a new page. Conclusion, a new page. And referencing, a new page. The title page is different and abstract is also on a separate page. Simple things matter most. And please do follow the specification for image resolution. Most of the international, I mean, almost all of the international journals now they only have online submission system. And if your image, if your table, if your uh, graph or if your picture is not as per their resolution, please remember they would not allow the submission to proceed any further. You can't even submit that. One example, for example, if the uh, instruction to author says 250 words for the abstract, if you use 251 words, it would be highlighted in red and you would not be able to proceed with your submission. Simple things matter most. Don't make things difficult for yourself and format the manuscript accordingly. Question, what is the first thing that an editor reads when an article is submitted? Yes, Dr. Kiran, uh, page number also matters. You have to mention the page number on the right upper corner, usually right upper corner. Dr. Kiran, number of pages doesn't matter. It is the number of uh, word count. Dr. Kiran has raised uh, a, a question that if we uh, start the section, uh, of each section on a new page, the number of pages will in increase. It's an online submission. It doesn't matter that your article is 100, uh, 100 pages or 200 pages. If it is within the prescribed word count limit, it's okay. So you don't have to bother about the uh, number of pages. You should be bothered about uh, the word count limit. Title and abstract. Okay. You are pretty close. No. No. What is the first thing that an editor reads when an article is submitted? Uh, Dr. Roma, you are oh, excellent. Dr. Yusuf, excellent. Dr. Amara, cover letter, cover letter. So the first thing that an editor reads when an article is submitted is a cover letter. So please, a very important advice, a take home message for all of you. Please write an impressive cover letter. Imagine uh, just come out of this research mode. Imagine yourself that you're applying for a job. You simply go and you give them your CV without telling them the context that why you are giving them the CV and you expect them to call you for an interview, it might not even happen. 
So whenever you are submitting an article or a manuscript, please take some time and write an impressive cover letter because that might be the only thing that the editor reads. And again, I'm going to re-emphasize that writing an article and publishing it is a, a sort of a selling your product that you have done something good and you want the people to uh, acknowledge that thing. So how do you do that? Uh, apart from the principle that I told you, an impressive cover letter is a very important part of that. We'll do a quick exercise and probably this concept becomes easier for you. Look at this uh, sample letter A. It says, Editor-in-Chief, British Journal of Urology, Dear Editor, I would be grateful if you would consider our wonderful manuscript for publication in your esteemed journal. All of the authors have made a substantial contribution and we confirm that it has not been published previously. Yours sincerely, ABC. This is a sample cover letter for a manuscript. Okay. This is a, another sample letter B of the same one, improved version. Look at this. Professor Richard Smith, Editor-in-Chief, BJU, Subject, Dear Professor Smith, the enclosed manuscript confirmed the superiority of laparoscopic nephrectomy over open surgery for renal tumors under six centimeter. Although you have recently published a small series from the USA reference, our UK based study is the large one. And this and that, all of the author have made a substantial contribution to the collection of data analysis, manuscript preparation. We confirm this and this, and confirm that I have all, full access to all of the data and I bear the final responsibility for the decision to submit this manuscript for publication. This manuscript has not been submitted to any other journal simultaneously. Question. Oops. Which one of these two letters is better? Oops. Sorry, okay. Look at this simple letter A. This is simple letter B. Why letter B is better? Please. Give me the reasons why letter B is better. Subject is mentioned. Good Dr. Hafsa. Sandhya, well defined. Ex Dr. Aisha, explanatory mentions everything. Doctor, subject is underlined. Okay, underline, kare na kare, but subject mentioned karna is important. Excellent. Dr. Yusuf, it is addressed to editor by name. What is the importance of this thing? Dr. Yusuf, can you explain that further? What is the importance of addressing you, the editor by name? Can anyone uh, answer this question? What is the importance of addressing someone by name? Excellent, more personalized. Again, please place yourself in the editor's shoes. You are approaching a stranger. Uh, if you say, dear sir or dear madam, uh, would that make a better impression or if you say, Professor Smith, dear Professor Smith, it actually shows that kind of personalization. And please remember, don't take science as an impersonal thing or a dead thing. Science is actually based on making personal connection. It actually helps a lot. Number two, it shows that you actually went to the journal website and you explored the editorial board and you took the pain to identify the name of the editor in chief. This means that you took the extra effort and this extra effort does count. Number two, you have clearly provided a subject to the editor and you have told him or her that whether this is a new submission or a revised submission. No, this is a new submission. You have clearly mentioned the category that this is an original research article. It could have been a systematic review, a case report or something else, but you have clearly mentioned what kind of submission is this. Number two, this person is actually selling his product or his research. He or she is very confident and he is actually making a comparison between the previously published research and the research that he is publishing and he is actually telling it upfront that why my uh, uh, published research, uh, my research is going to be superior to the already published research on this topic. And apart from the, that, that the author is giving a sort of a guarantee and, uh, and uh, telling the editor clearly that, you know, there's no ethical issue with the submission. I have the data with me and you can ask me for the data whenever you like. So this is how you make a powerful first impression. And sometimes these things do matter a lot and increase your chances of getting published in a good biomedical journal. So simple things matter most.